Hi guys, I'm Paul the Mortar Guy, and welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over how to do the circle cone weave exercise. So hang tight. So the objective of this exercise is the same as the straight line cone weave. It's gonna help you develop a flowing relationship between you and your motorcycle. Now this exercise will help you with the use of your throttle, clutch, head and eyes, handlebar turn, and leaning the motorcycle. Now here are some tips that will help you complete this exercise. Now tip number one is you want to maintain a steady throttle and stay in the friction zone. Now tip number two is you want to use a combination of steering and leaning the motorcycle to negotiate around the cones. Now tip number three is you want to use the counterweighting technique. Meaning you want to keep your body upright and let the motorcycle lean underneath you. Now for this exercise, you don't want to have a lot of movement with your upper body because the transitions are so quick. Tip number four is you don't want to use your front brake. You want to use your rear brake to control your speed. Tip number five is you don't want to look down at the cones of the ground. When you look down, you tend to lose track of where the cones are, which makes it really hard to complete this exercise. So where do you look? Well, since this is a circle, I like to continuously look two cones ahead. Now let's talk about how I like to enter this exercise. Now this can vary from rider to rider. So when I enter this exercise, I like to be as close to the first cone as possible without hitting it with my saddle bag. Now by doing this, it allows me to use all my space, which allows me to make some mistakes along the way and still have room to recover. So let me explain. If you enter too close to this cone, you give up space here, which transfers down the exercise and starts to make it hard to complete the exercise without recovering some of that space back. Now let me go over the range setup I'm going to use for this exercise. The diameter of the circle is 70 feet. So you will measure 35 feet from the center all the way around. Now the cones will be 12 feet apart for a total of 17 cones. So as you can see, if you're going to the right, you will start to the left of the first cone, to the right of the second cone, and so on, all the way around the circle. If you're going to the left, then you will start on the right of the first cone, weave to the left of the second cone, and so on all the way around the circle. Depending on your skill level, you can put the cones further apart, then move them closer together as your skill level improves. Now, the more distance between your cones, the less cones you will use. For my demo, I will write this exercise in both directions, which I recommend you practice in both directions as well. So check it out. Now, I recommend you watching this video I did on how the back wheel tracks when doing slow speed maneuvers. It will make a huge difference. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe. 